The Portland Peninsula was established by the British in 1632 as a trading and fishing settlement. It was originally called Mashagong or Great Neck by the Native Americans that inhabited it. During the 1830s, the waterfront was expanded and residential areas like State Street became the fashionable districts. Fishing, shipping, and commercial activities are increasingly supplemented by manufacturing industries today. You can see Costco Bay at many vantage points around the area. Three lighthouses were featured on this tour, the first being Bug Light, which is located in Bug Light Park in South Portland on Casco Bay. It is a steel structure lined with brick that was first lit in 1875. Liberty Ship Monument, also in the park, is a tribute to World War II shipyard that built Liberty Ships from 1941 to 1945. Spring Point Ledge Lighthouse was built in 1897. It is a typical spark plug style lighthouse constructed of brick on a cylindrical cast iron caisson. It is positioned at the end of a 900 foot breakwater which allows the keeper to walk back and forth to light the light. Fort George can be seen in the water in the distance. Nearby is Fort Preble. It was built on the site of a Revolutionary War fort, started in 1808 and finished just prior to the War of 1812. You can see the Spring Point Ledge Light and Fort George in the distance through one of the cubbyhole windows. First illuminated on January 10, 1791, the Portland headlight has since stood at the gateway to Portland Harbor for mariners traveling Maine's perilous coast. It is located in Fort Williams Park at Cape Elizabeth. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was born in Portland and often visited the keeper's house at the light. Along Maine's famous rocky coastline can be found the seaside communities of Kennebunk, Kennebunkport, Arundel, and Cape Corpus, also known as the Kennebunks. The first name, Kennebunk, is believed to be an Indian word meaning long cut bank. Established in 1653, Kennebunkport has been bustling with commerce since the 1800s when many ships were built and sent to sea from its harbor. Historically, Kenny Bunkport has been very important in the shipping industry of Maine. Folks settling this area were bound to the sea, and even today the seafaring culture is still much in evidence. You can see many Victorian-style mansions that were built by these wealthy sea captains and merchants in the 1700s and 1800s along the drives. The town center is located near the Kenny Bunk River. Just outside of Kenny Bunkport is the summer home of the Bushes. It is situated on a rocky peninsula that juts out into the Atlantic Ocean. It's called Walker Point, named after George H. Walker, a banker and grandfather of the former president. George H. W. Bush is locally known as the 41st, and George W. Bush is number 43.